day, Africa, and welcome to another exciting edition of AU Talks. And AU Talks is brought to you by the Association of African Universities Headquarters here in Accra, Ghana. And today on AU Talk, personally, I'm, a, I'm excited because we are hosting Professor um, Amani El Sharif, and she is the Dean Faculty of Pharmacy at the Al Azhar University, and she is also the regional coordinator for the North African Regional Office for the Association of African Universities. And we will be discussing the Maiden African Universities Olympics that was held in Egypt, um, specifically Cairo, and also the inauguration of the AAU Regional Office. Some of you couldn't make it. We'll bring you some few highlights, and then you join a discussion. Don't forget that you can join a discussion via social media platforms, Association of African Universities on Facebook, and AAU underscore 67 on Twitter. We'll go for a short break, and when I return, I will let you know, Prof, and then also my second guest. Stay tuned. Welcome from the break, and you are still watching AU Talks, brought to you by the Association of African Universities, um, headquarters here in Accra, Ghana. And like I mentioned before we went for the break, we have Professor Amani El Sharif, and she is the regional coordinator for the North African Regional Office of the Association of African Universities, and also the Dean Faculty of Pharmacy at Al Azhar University. Prof, you are most welcome to Ghana. Thank you, Kwesi. And uh, to our studio as thank well. You. Thank you. Is it the first time? Uh, in the studio, yes, yes, but in Ghana, this is the fifth time. Fifth time. Yes. Okay, so now you are Ghanaian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> yes, we'll give a Ghanaian name before you go back to Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Also, we have uh, Mr. Kiku Schneider Ankoma, and he is a project officer here at the Association of African Universities, and he was part of the committee that put together the African um, Olympics for universities. And so, Kiku, you're also welcome to the show. Thank you, Kwesi Sam. Great. So, I, I know you are fine, so I wouldn't want to ask yes. you exactly <laughs> whether you are fine or not. Yes. So, Lady <laughs> De Jesuban, welcome to AU Talks. And today's show is very exciting, personally for me, because AU achieved two milestones within a month, and that is the inauguration of the North African Regional Office and also the, the first or the maiden African Olympics. But let me start with you, Prof. Very important that we know about Al Azhar University. Definitely, it is one of the, the oldest and the functioning university globally. Yeah. If you would want to share anything about Al Azhar. Yeah, actually, Al Azhar University uh, is the oldest uh, and biggest university. Mm. Uh, uh, it is working since established in uh, 972, mm. so it's more than 1,000 years right now. Mm. And we have uh, a mass of faculties, uh, it's about right now uh, 86 faculties in it's all six. yes mm. in all disciplines actually mm. um, not only islamic religion as most of the people uh, thought mm -hmm. but uh, we have uh, medicine agriculture science uh, technology engineering pharmacy mm -hmm. uh, literature humanities uh, languages and so on mm. uh, uh, for the number of students we have about 400,000 students among them 33,000 international students oh. uh, among the international students we have uh, about more it's more than 5,000 African students mm. most of the African countries are represented by their students in our university incredible yeah yeah, yeah and that that is fantastic 14,000 yeah. Yes. Or 400,000 400, students. Yes. yes, yes. Both undergraduates and postgraduates. Yes, yes. Let's, let's go into the regional office. Yeah. And, and so last year, um, the AAU established the East African Regional Office yes. in Sudan, Khartoum. In the same month, May, March. In March. And yes. then just exactly a year, yes. Yes. we inaugurated the, yeah. the North African Regional Office, which is hosted by Al Azhar University. Yeah. And I must say that I was so happy to be there. It was a fantastic um, event for yes. the inauguration. Now, could you share with us what the regional office um, seeks to do yeah. for the entire Northern African region? 
first let me uh, express that I'm, I'm very glad about uh, your feedback about mm. the ceremony of the mm. integration and it's important to mention that it was under the patronage of our president Abdel Fattah Sisi Egyptian okay. president mm. and uh, in the same time currently he is the chair of the African, African Union, Union. Yes. okay and uh, we all the events and uh, the establishment of the office was the direct care and observation of the Grand Imam of Al Azhar mm. Professor Ahmed Tayyip, Tayyip okay. and uh, we are expecting for the North African office because it is located in the oldest country in Africa, which mm -hmm. is Egypt, mm -hmm. and the oldest university, university in the globe, which is Al Azhar University. Great. It uh, we 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 uh, can suppose that uh, this office will have a very important role mm. to uh, link African University not only with uh, uh, between the North and the other region. Mm -hmm. But uh, all the African universities all over the, the continent with the Asian uh, uh, university mm -hmm. and European, European. universities Brand. as well. Okay. Yeah, that's great, and that, that is really fantastic. But let me come to you, Mr. Schneider and Kuma. Uh, what is your feeling about Al Azhar University holding or hosting the, the regional office for the entire North African region? Okay, thank you very much, Chrissy. I would say uh, Lazar University hosting the regional office, it's uh, one of the most incredible things that we've done as AAU mm. and it represents a milestone. I was there in Egypt and then we saw we saw Lazar University and what Al Azhar University is capable of. It's like so a full community it's a on its own. Community on its sure. own. So mm. uh, Lazar University hosting the regional of it, I think is a step in the right direction. Mm. And like uh, Professor Mani mentioned, it's an avenue to link the continent with mm. even the international community like Asia with Europe and all mm -hmm. that. So much is expected of the regional office and then we know that in the hands of Professor Amani and then the rest the of edible, the team yeah. members mm -hmm. it's possible and yeah. so that's what I would say. Great. Now let me come to the most interesting aspect of our uh, discussion and that is the Maiden Olympics that yeah. we, we, we hosted. Uh, in Egypt, yeah, Prof. Let me. It, it was real work, <laughs> right from day one. Yeah, uh, you know, Olympics takes a longer period to to host or to organize, but within the shortest possible time, we were able to put together a fantastic event. Yeah, from planning to the main event and even the aftermath of the entire thing. Let me start from you, Prof. Amani. What were your expectations, even right from the the preparation stages? Um. Actually, it was a dream. Mm. The Olympics so for me was a dream, and uh, uh, the outcome exceed my expectation mm. because, uh, as you know, it is the first first one, and uh, we uh, we thought that um, the participation will not be uh, huge and uh, active like mm -hmm. what we have seen. Uh, but I think was. Uh, the concept behind the Olympics mm -hmm. uh, is the main uh, uh, driving force to sure. make it like like uh, what what we already achieved together. Yeah. Okay. And so, Prof, um, why was the Olympics put together? The the rationale, the objectives for the Olympics. Yeah. Actually, it it started uh, last year mm -hmm. when uh, Al Azhar University informed that we uh, uh, have been selected to be uh, a governing board member in uh, AEU mm -hmm. governing board. Uh, we start to studying the African Union uh, agenda mm -hmm. and how can we as Al Azhar University by all the meaning of this uh, brand name mm -hmm. can do, how can we help to achieve this agenda. Okay. And we found out one of the most uh, critical point is uh, uh, stop the, uh, the gun sound, which should be achieved by 2020, 2020. which mm -hmm. was about uh, the 16 months when mm -hmm. we met as a governing board. Mm -hmm. So we propose to help in that uh, direction by mm -hmm. uh, uh, thinking about, uh, uh, sorry, uh, think out of the box uh, mm -hmm. strategy, because as we know, uh, this uh, 
uh, domain is uh, undertaken by policy maker yes. in a closed room. Mm -hmm. While in the meanwhile, uh, the young people, yeah, yeah, young people in the ground fight together. Mm -hmm. So we think we should. Uh, it's okay. Let poli let policy maker work from top to uh, bottom, mm -hmm. and we would like to work from bottom up. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, why we couldn't try to? To uh, to call uh, the young people, the young generation, the youth, to uh, to think about the commonalities among them mm -hmm. and uh, to to increase uh, the common ground among them. Mm -hmm. And we thought that sports is uh, a global language exactly. that can uh, bus and mm -hmm. uh, bus uh, the barriers of language and mm -hmm. religion, culture, geographical barriers. Mm -hmm. So we think uh, if we can gather uh, the student, the university student together. University students, of course, they will be the future leaders mm. of the continent. So they will can grow up with the realization that we are similar. We mm -hmm. have something in common. We can uh, play together. Mm -hmm. We can compete together, and we can become friends together. Mm -hmm. Added to that, when uh, uh, it was decided that make the plays or the games regional mm -hmm. so um, the neighbors in the same uh, uh, region shouldn't compete together yeah. but in, in instead they will uh, encourage each other mm -hmm. because the win uh, win for uh, uh, algeria for example is a win for egypt, egypt. and so mm -hmm. on so it was a, a fantastic idea. Uh, added to that, uh, the players are not professional players. Mm -hmm. They are the doctor, Student. engineer, and mm -hmm. the teacher of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think it was a smart idea, and uh, I'm glad and appreciate the governing board that uh, takes the idea and uh, agreed on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, we're celebrating the achieve, achievement uh, of it. Yeah, yeah. OK, let me come to you, Kweku. You know, AAU, for the past um, 50 years, we have been operating differently. If it is not a conference, we are having a workshop, or it's always more of the academic engagement. How, how, how did you feel when you had to plan the Olympics? Okay, um, the whole idea of Olympics came and we thought it sits well with what AAU is supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, we work with African Union on the education strategy, mm -hmm. continental education strategy for Africa. Mm -hmm. And just as we are also a subsidiary of African Union, we need to also work on some of the areas pertaining to the agenda for Africa. Mm. And as Professor Mani mentioned, that is silencing guns in Africa by was 2020. One of the, by 2020 mm. was one of the ways that we could use to solve you know, one of the agendas that we have on mm. the continent. So AAU being in charge of higher education in Africa most definitely, we had to do something using our mandate to build the young people, build the young people mm. to achieve the agenda of Africa. Mm. So it was, it's long overdue. Mm. And when the regional office proposed this particular activity, we saw that it sits well with what we were supposed to do. Okay. So it came and we were overwhelmed about what we were going to do, mm. how when we started with the preparation here, in a AAU office, but we, with the help, the support of uh, Professor Murley and, and team, we, our anxiety mm. went down because they, they told us that, okay, we have it. We will be able to help mm. make this one successful. So on our side, though it was the first experience mm. and there was a lot of anxiety, mm. uh, the encouragement and the support from our Al regional office, mm. Lazar University, mm. made the whole thing simple. Right from the opening ceremony, all our anxiety vanished mm. because we saw that everything was in place. And, and everything was on point. Was on point. Great. And Lazar University was really ready to, to host, host the, the, the Olympics. Olympics. Great. So that is where we saw that it is really a reality mm. and it's something that we can continue to do. It's our first experience. Mm. We can continue to build on this and then make subsequent ones better. Great. So, Prof. Can I the, add more comment okay. on that? Mm. Yes. This is also very important to mention that it is uh, one of the mission of Al-Azhar. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
a unique mission for the other to establish peace everywhere. Yeah. And we have a belief that without the peaceful environment, mm -hmm. you can do any achievement in in education, in development, in uh, prosperous uh, Africa, we want to have, uh, according to the agenda of a, yeah, 2063, yeah. uh, mm. uh, first, first uh, limiting factor is to establish and disseminate peace among uh, mm -hmm. different countries in Africa. Yes, you are right. Without peace, I think yes. there wouldn't be any sustainable L yes. um, development. Yeah. But Prof still dwelling on the, the Olympics. Mm. I was overwhelmed and even excited, let me use that word, to find 27 countries yeah. representing yeah. Um, the, the, yeah. the student the universities, regions. exactly, the five regions. Yeah. How did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask a quiz. <laughs> Actually, we are. Uh, EU start to uh, mm. disseminate a call okay. uh, in different ways mm. of uh, uh, announcement, mm -hmm. uh, a video uh, to be published everywhere mm. and we published in all the social networks mm -hmm. and universities network and so on. Uh, and uh, we send uh, uh, a written call for all university and for the ministers of higher education, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for for the uh, office for all North African ministries mm -hmm. uh, of higher education, and EU I think uh, did a lot of work to cover the rest of the four regions, mm -hmm. and. Um, also, we did a call for African uh, students live in Egypt, Egypt. and uh, studying in Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why, and uh, 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 I don't know if you know, about Egypt is attractive place for students mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. We had, we have in Egypt a huge number of African students uh, studying in Egypt. So. Uh, we had this uh, response, which mm. it was for us was amazing response, okay. and the, it was increased day by day. Even the two days before the Olympics, some we get some mm. uh, uh, request to mm. join, and we discuss it. It was very hot discussion that mm. people organizing the list said it's enough. <laughs> but uh, but we get we decided that for the first time we let's should welcome every everyone. Exactly. Who, uh, one would like to join. Exactly. For me, one of the, the greatest things that we yeah. were able to do was the fact that we were able to embrace international students yeah. to also participate. Yeah. Uh, even beyond their universities, it was one of the, you know, when students go into other countries to study, it's yeah. just their studies and nothing more, nothing else. But yeah. with the Olympics, it was so beautiful to find some other international student yes. who, who were there. Yeah. So then if we can go through that list, could you remember some of the countries that um, I, I saw Mali, Ghana, Cameroon, Cameroon, Nigeria, Nigeria, Tanzania, Tanzania, yes, yes, yes. So Malawi, yes, Malawi, Zambia, yes, yes, yes. All the regions All were the regions. even uh, the South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, we didn't uh, think that we can find students from South Africa, okay. but we 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 had, mm -hmm. yeah. So all regions were represented. Great, yeah, wonderful. Let's go into the big competition yeah. where <laughs> it appeared Ghana to. <laughs> I took the lead in most of, of the event. Yeah. Now, the, this um, being the maiden edition, I think we limited the, the disciplines to football, um, to athletics, and then yeah. to basketball. Yeah. And with athletics, we looked at both the field events and then yeah. the, the, the track event the track. as yes. well. Now, mm. quickly, let me start from you. Football, how did it go? Football was fantastic. Mm. And uh, at the end, the grand finale, it was... Uh, a clash between uh, a university Egypt. from Ghana and then Egypt. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Lazar University, and it's like AAU Regional Office, uh, Secretariat in Ghana, and then and the, the North Regional African Regional Office, Regional Office. <laughs> <laughs> in Egypt. Yeah. And then sure. that was the clash. So, personally, from AAU, I was sitting there and I'm like, where should I put my support? Okay. <laughs> With the Regional Office? or with uh, the university competing from Ghana. That's University but for Development, development Studies. studies. Mm. But at the end, uh, it was a good competition, mm. and the best team won okay. penalties. That was Lazar University. Mm. They deserve it, and uh, I think the University of Development Studies, they found that that was a tough opponent, mm. and then they had to give up. Hopefully, we know that the next or subsequent competitions 
we're going to have you know a lot of representations from uh, Nigeria and then uh, uh, most of the countries and make it a really tough competition. Okay, so Prof, <laughs> how, how was the feeling when Egypt won the football? <laughs> Just a second, I didn't know that Egypt. <laughs> This yes, I yes. was I was very busy by the uh, yes. yes. but I didn't uh, follow okay. the yes. news. Okay, then let, let me let, let me give you the yeah. the universities. I think it wasn't Al Azhar that won the football. Yeah, it was Asut University Asut. Okay. Yeah. that placed yeah. first, yeah. which represented the North Africa region, yes. and then University for Development Studies in Ghana came mm. second with the football, yes. and then Cairo University yeah. in Sudan. Yeah. Also won the third place for yeah, East so, Africa. So, uh, north, uh, so it was west, north, west, east. east. Yes. We can uh, we can uh, announce like that according to the region. Regions exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that was that for the the football. Yeah. But so uh, it's it's amazing. I, I didn't know you didn't even have a feeling of the the N joy when <laughs> when it picked up. I'm, I, 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 right now I ask my colleagues to send me all the videos to start to enjoy watching well, uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because I didn't have the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Then let me even give you the, the basketball, which was interesting. From the beginning, we thought um, University of Bamenda yes. from Cameroon was going to take the, the cup. Yeah. But unfortunately, university, as Nigeria Army University, representing the West Africa team, yeah. came first yes. with basketball. And but then, why are you unfortunate? <laughs> We are so ready to pick sides. Why? So you see, I think you do you know that the, the Nigeria army uh, was the, the hugest uh, delegate? Exactly. Yes. yes, it's about 44 students exactly. and uh, the vice mm -hmm. chancellor of the army university mm -hmm. and the head of the army uh, was there. Yes, yes. Yes. You know, I'm coming from the point where right from the onset, um, <laughs> Bamenda thought. Yes. It was a clear win yes. for them from the beginning yes. until yes. they Prof. met. Yes, Prof. was uh, yes. announcing that. Yes. They were so sure they had already picked the cup. Yeah. It was the same for University for Development yeah. Studies. Yeah. And then, out of the blue... The most fantastic is that everyone of, uh, in the players, even the Vice-Chancellor, take it serious. For exactly. Them. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, it was so surprising to find Vice-Chancellors coming. Yes. Yes. For um, me, it's, uh, yeah, yes. it, it was outstanding. Yes. I thought that is uh, the captain of the team, mm -hmm. and that's it. And I found... Uh, most of the delegates Official. with the vice chancellor, mm -hmm. and even for uh, Nigeria, the vice chancellor came, came after yes. uh, the opening mm -hmm. ceremony of yes. the Olympics. Yes. Uh, uh, he insists to come. Yeah, so so I think it, it was, it was this so is a, a, a mark for success. Exactly. Yeah, and I think for even for Ghana, we had the pro vice chancellor for University, University of Cape Coast, of Cape yeah. Professor Dora Edubando coming, yeah, and then also the directors of sport, and yeah. so it was it was great. And then um, but University of Bamenda came third. Yeah. That, that is uh, yeah. from the Central Africa. So for basketball, it also went west, north, and central. Yes. So I think it was really competitive in that regard. Athletics? Yeah. Prof, you want to know the athletics? Yes, well? please. Since you really have the opportunity, <laughs> let's whet your, your appetite. I think also um, for the 100 meters, mm -hmm. for the 100 meter race, West Africa just took it. Yeah. And then second place to went to West Africa and then the third place went to West Africa. Mm, yes, good. Yes, but I, I, I noticed that uh, the, the team of Ghana mm -hmm. uh, went back with two cups. Yes. Yeah. Yes, from mm. University of Cape Coast. Yeah, yes. yes. Then Great. also for 200 meters, yeah. West Africa again. Yes. And then North Africa placed second. Yes. And then West Africa placed third yes. once again. Actually, uh, it is not important who wins the cup. Mm -hmm. All Africa win by this. Olympics. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. All Africa win. We 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 show the mm -hmm. the, the the other parts of the world mm -hmm. that we can unify mm -hmm. together. We can sure. play together. Mm -hmm. We can have fun together. Mm -hmm. we, d we didn't need the external uh, uh, player Players or external to support Absolutely. to make us have uh, mm -hmm. uh, a good manage for uh, our youth and uh, mm -hmm. our. Uh, continent this is uh, uh, actually multi-dimensional message can mm -hmm. can uh, released from this event yes so prof when you look at the overall result one yeah. key thing that you can pick from it is i think um, the north africa region has good um, athletes in terms of field events, field events yes um, i don't because know what you make of that and yeah, the west african 
had good um, when it comes athletes to the track, the events. track event. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what you make of, of that. Um, is there anything that um, um, is responding to or responsible what, for that? What I took out of that was, you know, most because this made in addition was uh, Lazar University took a chunk of the cost, but most of the universities they had to pay for their own yes. uh, ticket. Mm -hmm. yeah. So coming to the event, they had to let me say select mm -hmm. some of their teams to represent. We, we expected that they come with their basketball team, yes. their track team, their athletic the, the the field, field and then the football, football as, well. as yeah. well. But you know, it all comes down to funding. Mm -hmm. So most of the universities they had to select which of their teams to represent them. Sure. So you find out that University of Capos came with a strong uh, track event team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no wonder they swept all the awards they, they in that category. Exactly. And when you look at the team from uh, Northern Africa on the, 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 the field events, you saw they really brought a strong team mm -hmm. yeah. for the field events. Sure. So competing against another team that brought, you know, it was kind of specialization. Okay. <laughs> so <Yes>. it, was, <laughs> it wasn't surprising that if you look at their, their, their people, the people who represented them, mm -hmm. you can see clearly yes. they are good mm -hmm. and they deserve to sweep all the awards on the field events. Yeah. Okay. So, Prof, what is, what is your take too on... Um, because I want us to come up with an establishment um, which of the regions has the best in terms of, uh, which let me not use best, but strength, mm. because we may not have the same strength in terms of all the disciplines. But then I think for football and then the, the field event, I think the Northern Africa has a greater strength. What do you make of that? No, I, I think the, the reflection of uh, these results mm -hmm. that everyone take it serious, take exactly. it the Olympic very mm -hmm. serious. And there's the other message that we have a very strong uh, young generation. Mm -hmm. We should pay more attention for sports mm -hmm. as the language we can use. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other uh, message that um, uh, students of Africa needs AAU mm. uh, and I think this is the highest loud uh, voice mm -hmm. for this event that uh, this call mm. meets the needs of uh, okay. the young generation Absolutely. so we have to work on it more and more okay. and we, we shouldn't let it down we have to keep the, the, uh, the move mm. and the wave higher and higher Hi. okay so Prof, someone just brought in a question want to find out when should we expect the second one yeah, <laughs> I think we will discuss it uh, mm. during these days, okay? Yes. And we, when we know uh, exactly, uh, we, I, we can publish it all together on all uh, different sites. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Mr. Mr. Nkuma, what should we expect in the second? That is the the second edition of the African Olympics. Okay. Some of, some of the students want to find out which of the countries or the universities took some of the bronze medals. So we'll take time to also respond to that question. But what should we expect in the second edition? Okay, in the next one, uh, we are going to try as much to cover a lot of the disciplines. Mm. Yeah. And this time, we are going to place an early call mm -hmm. because this one, it took us about only three months yeah. to put together this Olympics and it even exceeded expectation. Mm. Let's, how about we starting early? And giving yes. like a year. And giving yes, like please. a year. Mm. Yeah. That means we will, will be able to do a lot mm. in one year than what we did in three months. Okay. So yes. hopefully we will expand the disciplines, send out the core earlier mm. than we did, mm -hmm. tried as much uh, to also support the universities mm. in whichever way so that they can bring their team More to, to represent and then have that regional you know, representation so that together our agenda we'll build, we'll build of the ensuring peace on the continent okay. will be a reality. So all one of the key things that we, we never, and I don't think we would ever forget about, has to do with the Egyptian way of welcoming everybody, everybody. and making you feel home. I think Egyptian hospitality, we won't ask Prof Amani to talk about that. I think you would yes, have to. Yes, I what, can what, what talk about it. What was the experience it. of the students who went on the tour, the academics who went on the tour, their food, everything? Yes. So um, uh, Prof Amani is here and we would like to 
first of all, uh, send our appreciation uh, to Lazare University mm. uh, for such organization, the hospitality, how they welcome us. And when we went, they had a series of, pro they didn't make it like, it's just come and participate in the sports and then leave. Mm. They made it in such a way that we had a fail of Egypt. Mm. They had a program where the vice chancellors and then the sports directors who visited, they had a program for them. Each day, they will take you to a place where you can go and then uh, visit uh, the pyramids. The, the pyramids uh, and the, the Nile the, cruise. The Nile cruise and then a lot light of Light and sound. Light and sound. A lot of programs were lined up. Mm. So it wasn't just the Olympics. Mm. It was also an experience of Egypt. Egypt. Okay. And we had a strong team mm. that uh, from uh, Professor Amani, we understand they were volunteers. They were, they were lecturers, and you see, they are doctors, they were professors. professors. And imagine having a professor putting uh, his uh, busy shadows, busy shadows aside mm. and welcoming a team, and then working with a team everywhere they go, trying to introduce them to Egypt. It's one of the best, let me say, uh, it was something that really touched me. Yeah, you are sounding a bit emotional about it because yes. you were, you were yes. enjoying it. But Prof, <laughs> let, me, let me come to Prof. <laughs> so that Prof, you tell us, uh, you know, the evaluation and the, the feedback from the student and then some of the academics, it was fantastic for them. Yeah. Especially for the, the night shopping. Yeah. It was, it was so great. <laughs> Buses yeah. were available to, to aid them to go for shopping. And also the, the Nile cruise and then also the, the pyramids. Prof, how, how were you able to make it put together all these um, facets of event to make the Olympics and then the regional office inauguration a fantastic one? Yeah, actually we have uh, more than 15,000 staff members, teaching staff members, mm. and uh, most of them were welcoming to participate in uh, our committees and we are, are already prepared different committees mm. for housing, for uh, tour, uh, tourist uh, uh, mm. yeah, uh, visits and uh, for uh, students uh, accompanying mm -hmm. and so uh, a lot of committees actually and um, I would like to thank all of them because, mm. uh, as Schneider mentioned, all of them are volunteers. Also, we have committees from students, mm. other uh, students, university students, who uh, were working uh, around the clock uh, and very happy, and they didn't feel tired uh, except uh, except after finishing everything. They said uh, said to me, "Can we have two days off, please?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because now we feel that we are very tired. So I would like to uh, send uh, out my appreciation for all of them. And the ones I would like to take the opportunity here to, to send my appreciation, the vice chancellor who can uh, understood the message mm -hmm. and uh, send their students uh, without knowing what will happen. It exactly. was just an idea, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, actually those are the people who make this event succeed. Exactly. Yeah, and so I, I would like to appreciate them and uh, 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 thank them all. And for the coming event, mm. I think most of the vice chancellors of other university uh, can notice now uh, that uh, it's true mm -hmm. that we can have uh, international Olympics, Olympics. Uh, uh, standards okay. uh, in uh, Africa. Mm. And uh, f from Egypt, uh, I uh, also announced that we are welcome to host the Olympics every year. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, and of course, uh, uh, we, I don't know, but we didn't mention that Al Azhar University hosts uh, the students mm -hmm. completely in yes. special dorms, dorms for international students. Yes. We can do it more and more because the message is to unify the students uh, of Africa because they are the future leaders of Africa. Prof, your final words before we sign off and then Schneider as well. Uh, the final word, uh, we can achieve Africa we want, mm. together. 
we can possible. achieve it. Yes, prosperous Africa, developed Africa, mm. successful Africa. Mm. I think we can send a message from EU to the whole world mm. that we know the way and we will step forward. And this is a quantum leap. Mm -hmm. We would, should thank EU to uh, to have this initiative, mm -hmm. and uh, we will achieve Africa we want. Okay, Schneider. Um, I would like to say uh, this was the maiden edition and mm. uh, uh, Lazar University really raised the bar for mm -hmm. this particular Olympics and then we hope that subsequent ones will be even more successful than what we experienced mm. and if we're able to achieve that then gradually we'll be able to achieve the Africa we want. Okay, okay. thank you so much Prof. We can see a very beautiful shield yeah. uh, from Al Lazar University yes. to, to the team. Yes. We appreciate the beautiful shield. And our uh, regards to the, the Grand Imam and also to the president of Al Azhar University, the vice president. He also worked tirelessly to make yeah, sure. Yeah, Professor Ayman. Uh, exactly, yes, yes. to make sure the event was successful. Yeah. Okay. Viewers, thank you so much for, for joining us. And we have received a comment. Your comments are fantastic. We appreciate them. We would respond to all of them and make sure that we give you the full video um, of the Olympics just as you are looking for. Thank you. My name has always been Chrissy Sam. Thanks for watching. <laughs>